will the following videos that you will see are intended to help you with the cadence watch source schematics these are just tutorials that will help you on how to use cadence schematics let's get started i'm not going to speak anything about how to set up cadence in your system that is very specific uh, to your own user your university or your organization will help you on how to set up cadence here on i will take you on how to use cadence watch so so this is what it looks like when you open a cadence watch so and then go to tools library manager will open you something like this these are already existing some of my libraries that i have created for my academic purposes so let's move on uh, to create a new one file new library we make a library and we put all our uh, files all our schematic files in that library let's say expt for experiments let's say okay this says it already exists expt2 and then uh, the library needs to have a technology file you can compile an ascii ascii technology file for it or you can attach to an existing technology file i do it as attached to an existing library and then i go for analog library the basic analog library that i have done uh, the library is done expd2 is ready file uh, once you are on expd2 and then when you go to file new cell view this is how it looks like mm, let's uh, try and make a voltage divider voltage divider and view type is schematic there are several view types in uh, watch so you can use uh, let's try and make just a schematic not schematic symbol layout we will go for them later uh, let's go for schematic now then okay well our schematic is ready let's take a step back and if you go here and in options if you go for bind keys and schematics in schematics well uh, smg model schematic this will have all the shortcuts that you can use uh, in your schematic editor so key c is for copying delete button in your keyboard is for deleting stuff right f is schematic zoom fit the screen will uh, fit to the entire schematic that is there and as you you know as you go on q here will refer to object property p will create a pin o will open display properties s will stretch shortcuts may be you know specific to your own thing so just go to bind keys and start using them you can use them in your uh, schematic editor so let's uh, make an instance i is for adding instance library you uh, know analog library uh, has uh, some devices let's say vdc and let's give one volt now let's add some resistors res is for resistor and i am adding 1 kilo ohm resistor r here uh, is for rotate for me uh, w is for wire you need one more element ground which is a reference node for all your simulations escape button will help you to exit from the existing operation so once i press escape uh, i'm away right this is for check and save suppose uh, if i have some error in my circuit say this is an open node if i click on it it says three warnings uh, check this and there is an highlighting thing so yeah check and save then i will launch ade which is analog design environment 
this is schematic editor currently and this is ADE. In this, uh, let's start with um, DC, DC simulation. Let's click on save operating point, enable, okay. So this is where you can open all the types of analysis that you can do. Then click on this, it will start running. Well, uh, you can read this as well. Now uh, we can print the DC node voltages. Uh, as you can see, this voltage should be 1 volt. In results display window, if I see, this is 1. Uh, this should be 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And this should be 0. Well, now there is another thing that you can use as annotate DC node voltages. So that will annotate all the DC node voltages in your circuit. Well, you can annotate DC operating points as well. So that will say the voltage across the resistor is 500 millivolts, current is 500 micro amperes, power is 250 micro amperes, all the DC things. Yeah, it, it does consider some uh, notation thing. That's why current is negative for some of the things. Now, uh, I don't want to see all this stuff. So I will go to view annotations and I will uncheck this gone same view annotations dc operating points gone well uh, let's see this will uh, give you net names if there are any pins that will show you pins this is for dc voltages currents currents and voltages model parameters component parameters dc operating points so you can see all this stuff right i only want component parameters i'm keeping it on let's try to do a transient simulation uh, let's put a sinusoidal source and see i'm deleting this clicking on this object and backspace will delete it or delete key will also delete it i is for insert object V sign is for a sinusoidal source, but uh, I will use V pulse for now. Well, uh, this is a square wave generator, voltage generator. Voltage 1 is 0, let's keep it as 0. Voltage 2, 1. Period, let's say time period is 1. I don't want any delay in the rise. Rise time, let's say one millisecond. Fall time, one millisecond. Pulse width, zero point five seconds. Uh, you can also define type of rising, whether it should be linear or half sign. Linear will give you a linear thing. Half sign will give you a little bit rounded of curves. I will prefer linear for now. Linear height, and then done check and save go to this adl and you can disable dc for now then transient stop time let's uh, keep an eye on it for five five seconds which is five time periods and this is accuracy levels liberal will run a fast simulation but accuracy is a little bit compromised. Moderate is, uh, you know, will take a little bit time, but accuracy is improved. Conservative will take uh, much time compared to all of this, but will give you the best accurate uh, output. Let's go for conservative for now. Okay. Well, uh, the simulation is done. Results, direct plot, main waveform. And you can plot voltage now. Let's plot this. 
well it looks like a square wave period one let's zoom in to very close extent you can see the rise time being one millisecond right let's uh, try and play a little bit more with these plots as you have seen this will uh, help you to customize x axis this uh, will fit the screen this will zoom in this is this will zoom you out and right click and drag will help you zoom to the customized specified section as you can see this right and you can make it a log scale which is very worse anyway so let's not go for that and in axis properties uh, you can change the scale from 0 to 4 seconds which will no, make it a 4 second one and you can make changes in the dimension you can make changes in the divisions as well which are very obvious uh, fonts and all you can right click here graph properties you can change the background from that to this i'm making it white now well uh, you can explore these options in this add label or right click add graph label you can make labels as you can see i don't want any label for now now if you press V here, it will give you a vertical marker. V1. If I press uh, V again, it will give me another vertical marker. These markers will help you read the values uh, properly. And I go to intercepts. I will make it on all the time. So this will be on all the time. This has uh, intercepts on when hover. So when my mouse is on this, it will be on. So let's try reading the values 1 here 0 here right similar way h will give you a horizontal marker well and you can explore all these things color you can change it to different color etc now let's see the voltage here well that is exactly half of this voltage divider right now this will uh, strip the graph into two separate sections one for this and other for this this will merge things and this will strip the things again right click on this move to view window we'll move it to the new window from this right this is all about this plotting waveform which is called virtual visualization and analysis well, that's about transient simulation